Well, today is Friday. That means that it is time for the blog post. And it's a pretty good blog post. We've got some information on where Cyclops is going to be inside of the raid store. Got some new events. And we have some changes to Blitz. But my interpretation of how they will actually impact people is different than the way I think a lot of people thought it was going to be. Let's read the blog post. We'll go over all this good stuff. And overall, I think most people are pretty happy with this blog post. So first things first, greetings, commanders. Sharper your number two pencil and earn extra credits this week for taking opponents to school with multiple events or that reward raising your hand and then lowering it hard on an unspecting foe. Get smacked. I also got a mutant blasting his way into the raid store. The Cyclops. No word on Symbiote Spider-Man yet. Come on, man. Where's Symbiote Spider-Man going to be? That's what I really want to know. Where's X-23 going to be? Where's Domino going to be? That's what we all... We're all chomping at that information. Blitzes are sure to steal the show. And bonus event swinging the Spider-Verse. But first, it's time to put your roster to valuable lessons. School's in session for members of Strike this week. And being a bright pupil... A bright pupil? I mean... Uh, making your enemies see the stars. Stuff your backpack. Nobody's going to school. Everybody's doing distance learning. Teachers are now our professional streamers, don't you know? <laughs> With supplies for the valuable lessons, milestones, and events, they're sure to lighten your roster. Daily milestones for 11 days. Find an arena blitz and raid battles with the character possessing limited time mentorship trait. Uh, to earn points towards daily milestones, which reward you superior and advanced gear. Fine. I, I like this, but what? Are they thinking when they make this, 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 this mentorship trait? Like, I get it's supposed to be some sort of teacher pupil thing, but really, Carnage? How does Carnage? What does Carnage teach? Get wrecked, nerds! Shut up and do your homework. What does Carnage teach? Or I don't understand what they're doing here. Uh, maybe I just don't get it. But some of these things, anyways. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna do the event. We're gonna get free stuff. These events, it's gonna be kind of like the the X twenty three or the 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 X Force uh, event, which is fine. Free stuff's free stuff. Uh, usually, there's a cost to if you don't feel like blitzing, you're gonna have to buy some of the packs. All right, that's usually how it goes down with these events. If you just you're gonna have to blitz a certain amount. I'm sure when this event goes live, we'll have. How much you have to blitz to get max rewards and so on and so on. Log in calendar. Get rewarded for perfect attendance by logging in each day uh, to earn gold orbs, gear credits, and various gear cold. Bonus events. Quarter blitz. I don't like these quarter blitzes. Most people don't. Raid frenzy. 20% cost reduction for raid energy heals and revives and raids. Get your first time milestone rewards on U7. Those are quite good. They are amazing. There's so many good T4s in there. All right. Blitz improvements. And I just want to say this beforehand. This is not a quality of life improvement. All of these blitz changes right here, other than the reward structure, is pretty much just anti-bot policies and, and changes. And I, I polled uh, several people in my chat that are hardcore blitzers, and they are actually very, very favorable to this. Now... Someone as a not blitzer, a non blitzer. I'm just a milestone blitzer. This doesn't change anything for me at all. And I also asked the non blitzers if they're going to blitz more. And the answer was no. Most people are going to probably steal my stones. And the hardcore blitzers, from what I can see, are pretty happy with this because this is basically they're not blitzing more than this. And the only people that are humanly possible to blitz more than uh, the the way that this was worded now were were the bots. So sneak peek in 2020 preview blog and that's why i think they call it a quality of life or something this is not a quality of life improvement at the updates are low low value time at the updates coming to blitz with the changes of the way this way next week we'd like to go over the improvement of the again and this is going to start with the, the mortal blitz next week first update they were limiting the number of chargeless attacks to eight per 24 hour period so you could you could still blitz 16 hours a day and the only people that were blitzing more than 16 hours a day were the bots. This is meant to screw the bots. Just say it. That's what it is. It's not, it has nothing to do with what they say here. It has nothing to do with that. This is just meant to screw the bots. Next, we're improved to the reward structure for multi-day character blitzes. The only numbered rank rewards will be a top 100 players and players in the top percentile brackets earn more shards than they currently do. So most players should see more character shards, rewards, and I, I hope that's good. We're gonna see. 
We've also updated point calculations, and the way that this interprets to me is that it's going to reward smart players rather than auto play, which is also an anti-bot mechanic. Winning matches are now much more valuable in terms of points awarded as a result. We're slightly reducing the points awarded when taking on a very powerful opponent. Uh, the intention here is to reward opponent selection, team construction, and battle strategy to place less emphasis on botting with high TCP rosters. That's the way I interpret it. And most people in chat that are hardcore blitzers agree and they, they're, they're happy with this. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I'm not a blitzer, so this didn't really change much to me. I'm still going to do my milestones. Maybe I'll blitz. We'll see. We hope you enjoy these updates. Look forward to hearing your feedback. Raid store updates. This is the single most important thing in the entire blog post, in my opinion, is uh, that raid is coming. Uh, the Cyclops is getting raid. Now, I saved a bunch of these orbs, so I'm hoping to uh, do a... And, you know, I've been saving these. Uh, hopefully, I'll, I'll get some in here. I've got well, 40. I got 40 saved up for Cyclops. Cool. Maybe I'll get them. Maybe I won't. But anyways, because uh, it's kind of a slow grind to get them. A lot of people are speculating this also means that uh, Red Skull is pretty much confirmed to be a War Store character. But uh, that's just speculation. And they also said they're going to add some extra slots for orange gear, which we welcome. Upcoming Blitzes. We're going to have Mordo. And then we looks like we've got Colossus as well. Very cool. Tangled Web. Now, prepare for the War Arrival of Shuri, a legendary event, uh, which is going to be next week. Shuri's quite good in raids. I use every day. Uh, Tangled Web bonus event. Bond with the double character charge rewards for Spider-Verse. Don't forget, two times zero is zero. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Class dismissed. We'll be back again next week with details on our upcoming legendary event. Until then, good luck, commanders. And they're talking about Doc Ock. What do you think about all of this changes specific to Blitz. Uh, based on the people I've been talking to, it seems pretty good. I'm mostly just excited about uh, Cyclops, but I really, I think most people are more anxious to find out what's going to happen to a Sibiot Spider-Man, X-23, and Domino. Uh, that's what we really want to know. And as far as when he's going to be in the raid store, we don't know, but typically uh, these things, they announce it like on today on a Friday and then it usually goes live, let's say on Wednesday after server reset. So let me know what you think. Also, I got a picture I want to show you. I'm just going to show you this picture. And we've, if you know what this is, we, we, we call this an IFD. So in the comment section, if you know what IFD is, put that down there. All right, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching and keep on gaming. Bye!